yes, finally, finally, finally! So of course we are back with another talk about video. Okay, so yeah, uh, we got of course number one, the Astro Rewards. There's a lot of stuff I do want to talk about and briefly go over though for this because last year, oh, a lot of people are complaining like, oh, last year we got this, last year we got that, da, 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 like. That was last year. This is this year. So we're living in the past. Anyway, I'm getting that. So yeah, I uh, would get some new stuff right here for um Global. Um, not yet for JP, but Global did hit number one. Um, JP did not sadly right now. As I'm recording, but I will do an update video once that goes out live. I'll probably do this video first or the Easy Broly video. Um, because I have that video already recorded. Um, by the time it gets up, this probably will already already be done. Um. I don't know which one I'm going to upload first, um, it's just, it's weird back and forth, because I might want to do the Broly video first, you know, like, give my full thoughts, then maybe see, like, on this video and stuff like that, let me just do my video, um, but yeah, um, but yeah, though, oh, actually, my computer's actually right here, I'm going to leave, so yeah, um, I've been moving my computer back and forth the last couple of videos, I feel like it's off a little bit, but I feel like I'm just right, for me, from my perspective, I feel like I'm good, but for me, you know, as I'm, do as I'm doing the video, it's weird, but for you guys, it's fine and stuff like that, so yeah, um, but yeah, though, um, I just kind of want to talk about it, though, because we did get hit number one, yeah, throw rewards. It did hit Luxembourg, though, so unfortunately, we did get seven stones. A lot of people always complain, like, oh, why did we get more stones on Episodic? Why? Last year, we got more. I hate this stupid app. I was like, seriously. Like, why did we get more countries? Like, guys, seriously, I I'm stupid, though. I'm, I'm really stupid, by the way, by saying that. But yeah, um, because last year, again, like I said, this has been thing since, like, cooler from last year. Every time we hit a country for any country, no matter what, China, Luxembourg, we do get um, seven stones for every country like for example we hit Luxembourg we got seven stones we get 14 stones we get um you know China and stuff like that China hits it you know um Germany or German or Germany um etc etc um you know Japan I mean they Japan's its own thing that's why top crossing hits so fast like you know blue fusions you know they got top crossing I think way before the bears even went live last year so um all of the games are already top crossing and stuff like that because they were the best units in the game like no one else could beat them last year even this year I think JP did again they hit number one like twice um, do we hit again for the Legendary Summon Banner? Because last year we did not. Because, um, I think last year was a, a Demon Slayer collab with Monster Hunter, which is a big, again, Demon Slayer is a big thing in Japan. I haven't gotten to watching it yet. Because there's some of the stuff I want to watch right now, like Pokemon Journeys of Fishing. I'm finished, I'm starting to get to that. Beyblade Burst, um, Dynamite Battle is about to come out. Um, there's a lot of just anime stuff without my list to watch. I'm, I'm worrying about that, but I want to finish these ones first. Get them done over with other way. That's how I kind of structure it and stuff like that. So, yeah, again, a little, little stuff about my life, though. Yeah, yeah. No, I wear anime shirt for crying out loud. I got this more pop vinyl shirt. So yeah, um, but like I said, every country we hit, we get a set set amount of stones and stuff like that. So yeah, that's how it's structured. Like, compared to last year though, I actually did see the rewards a little bit. Um, I was like, holy crap. Um, um, compared to rewards last year, I actually did see it myself. I was like, holy crap. I didn't expect this. I forgot about the rewards from last year. Again, it's many years, so of course you're going to forget. Um, but besides like the leak dates, the leak dates for like saying days, always March 16th. 15th, um, a couple days beforehand, we get like the teaser for the unit, like last year with Bardock and stuff like that. Everybody thought it was Bardock, Team Bardock got leaked, blah blah blah. The rest is history, um, literally. So, yeah, um, but again, the last year rewards, I feel like it was kind of the same thing because it was again a gold bone chippy celebration. And yeah, again, like last year, we hit number one country, we should have gotten seven stones, but I think Cooler, I think Cooler's already out at this point, so because he came out, I think he left March 17th, my birthday. Um, he didn't leave that day though, so um, he actually moved. Um, he actually did leave that day though, so, um, yeah, then he didn't hit number one, but we only got seven stones because we hit one country. Um, that's how the goal was in structure. I don't know what they were doing with that, I guess. Not because, um, the fires and stuff like that. It didn't impact it until, like, literally March 17th, so, yeah. Um, of last year, so I think that's, uh, uh, that's why everybody's been going kind of insane a little bit. Because we're blaming the virus, because, you know, for Duke Shures, you know, everybody had to stay home and stuff like that. I kind of get that, but it hasn't really affected top grossing before. I think it may have did once, but I do not remember on top of my head. Right now, at the time of recording, I do not remember any of that. So, yeah, but compared to last year, of course, rewards are going to be different and stuff like that. Dang, I didn't remember this. I was like, oh, yeah, but I got so many more orphans and stuff like that. So, yeah, compared to last year and stuff like that, yeah. Again, I get feel like because Goldman JP had the same thing. I feel like assumed that. But, again, if we get, again, JP's going to probably get these rewards again. Probably, I want to say. Um, they'll probably get these rewards again, like last year. They'll be going to play like, oh, Goldman Shaft, but then they're going to go back and change the rewards. And then for the Dallas celebration, we hit number one constantly, but no one ever really cared or recognize it. Like, every week we hit it. It was like for every country we got, we got like a set, another stone. Like you know, China looks to Burke again. We had that, and they hit. They kept hitting number one constantly in like countries almost every, almost every single day. Do um because the Buhan um, and the Geo celebration. So that's what happened last year. Stuff like that. So that's unfortunately what happened last year. Um, 
until it's twenty for the devil celebration. Uh, we kept hitting number one so many times um, on a country, just like one country. So that's why it really was that important because we had like I think like what like sixty five stones and we had seventy. I think we had like what I think six was it sixty sixty five and seventy for global. And I was like a lot of people were like, oh wait, no one actually really paying attention. No one said global or JP stack. I think I'm the only one who really pointed it out. I believe I don't think no one else really pointed it out, but we kept hitting um, we kept hitting um, number one uh, new countries like again like looking for China, Germany. I think it was the other country specifically. So we kept getting rewards for that. So yeah. Um, but again, if every country we get, we get number one out of rewards at all. People are going to complain and get mad, but that's unfortunately the truth about it. Eh. But yeah. Um, but yeah, again, like, compared to Banner's last year, this Banner actually is pretty solid, though, actually. Uh, of course, got a lot of good new years, but I do not recommend something on this Banner, because all these dudes have come back more times than I can count, because this brother right here is just, like, old and stuff like that. But ZZA is actually still pretty solid if you not have, like, the new LR1 that got ZZA about a couple days ago. By the way, I'm supporting on that. But yeah. Um, this boy is really solid as well. He's still good. Um, this kid Goku is still good. Nami Goku is still solid. Bark is still solid. Overall, the banner isn't that bad, but I probably don't recommend summoning. Well, no, if you want to go ahead and summon, but I don't know. I still like yes and no because some of these units are really old now. And plus, with JP with the new update right now, where basically you, know, you can trade units for coins, for example. Like this Goku, if you give him from legendary summon banner, um, you can summon with yellow coins. Give him from his, the, his uh, Doku Vest banner, you can summon with coins, um, red coins. And from any other banner, like that's, that's not these two, you can get blue coins. That's how has been structured for JP for like a couple of days now. Um, like, you know, I'll probably the video somewhere around me or in the high up above. I seem to kind of do, say that, do that though, and I kind of forget. But when I do when I upload the video, I'm like, oh my gosh, I got it already in my head. So, um, yeah. Um, so yeah, though, that's how it's been structured um, for JP and stuff like that. Again, global is not in effect right now, so don't try to do it. It's not in effect. You know, if it's update, probably like in about two months, because global tends to keep these updates pretty intended fast. And then they're not going to after the anniversary, because I feel like a lot of people will be like, oh yeah, global chat, which has been a big thing right now recently. So yeah, uh, that's a dope meme thing though, but yeah. Um, overall though, like I said, this coin base can be really huge for global, because you know, again, so right now, something is not going to benefit you. You can still keep all SSRs, so I think those still count as well. Like, if we can keep this guy's SSR, because he's Kyle King Goku and Doku Awakens. Now, you can keep him right now, because I kept my Super Saiyan for Gogeta, copied it for Chain Battles, and I was like, oh yeah, the update came out a week later for JP, got, got it in a couple days. I'm like, oh yeah, I can finally keep him now. I have excuse to keep him. So yeah, I, I think I did it for the Femme Kamei Miha units as well, for Go Goku and AJ Gohan and Team Gohan, and Super Saiyan, and Trunks, or um, Goten as well, Super Saiyan. So yeah. I mean, the better isn't that bad, though. Blue Fusions are back, Bardock's good. Um, from last year, of course, it makes sense. Again, Broly's good as well, though. And he has a new category, he got plenty of destruction. Again, every Frieza. I think Cooler's on here as well. Kid Booth, Cell, Vegeta, Pre, and then Saiyan Arc, and stuff like that. Beerus is on here as well. Um, Chapa, I think Bado should be on here as well, because she destroyed a planet with Chapa. Weird. She's like, oh yeah, no Super Dragon Balls. New kid. It's like, yeah. But yeah, forget all the life that was on there. And plus, uh, you know, in Chapa's universe, the, their Earth was destroyed by humans. I guess so I got corrupted in you know, not corrupted in evil, but they just had so much nonstop warring, so yeah. Um the category isn't that bad or whatever, I just kinda wanna mention it that um his he's not really he's gonna fit on here pretty well for all the villains and stuff like that, because I haven't been transforming such new units, but at the same time it's like, yeah, I people like, oh, why is it blood on here? Why is it that? Because he didn't destroy the earth. He threatened to destroy the earth, but he actually really didn't do it. Um, or other blue units, but yeah. Um, overall, though, and then we have, of course, this um, summon banner right here as well. A lot of people are like, oh, I got someone on this banner. And people are like, oh, forget it, because this new um, easy A banner for JP right now. Hey, Global, do not summon on it, because it has every LR on it. It's only six featured units down here. Um, again, I don't highly recommend summoning for it, though, because, again, it has every LR on here, every featured unit. Because a lot of people are going to be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to summon on this banner. We can hit number one again. It's like, it's not going to happen, guys. It does not. It's good, because it has only six featured units, but overall, in the long run, I probably don't recommend doing it, though, because you can just waste your stones. Again, like I said, with the coin update. Before Global, don't do it, because you're just wasting your stones and valuables. Valuables. Yeah, again, we'll, go, we'll probably be like in what, May, April? They tend to kind of push us a little bit early. Probably highly May, though, because I think that's a lot of time Global got an update with Kefla before Kefla came out. That's even after like the anniversary, though, but that was sometime in like May. No, that's what we were JP, though, I think. So, yeah. Um, they came, they came to Global a little bit early, though, so yeah. And of course, now it's a big boy, Broly. Again, you can't actually keep his SSR as well, so you can try and do Global Grind. I think it would be beneficial. beneficial. But later on, the longer run, though, he will be also good. Um, now the same name update because for JP now you can have the same name units. You got both of them with Broly's, but they do not link well, so they don't link all together though. But Broly, he's a massive tank. He's good. He infinitely attacks attack and defense. His leader skills pretty solid. Planetary, planetary destruction will probably be good probably there down the road. Um movie bosses again, him being I feel like he should be a pure same leader, but last year probably did get new category, so that makes sense. Um so yeah, and whoever Dokumentus comes out for the first for Global War JP, because they're going to pretty much end at the same time with their same day celebration to have um, April Fools together, because they tend to do that as well. Um, 
Because last year Bulma came out right before, and I think Andrew 13 we follow up as well. So yeah, I think they said there's gonna be like a mini little part two for this as well, so we can probably just, like LR, you know, go through stuff like that from the early movie be potentially. Because we're getting like a wallpaper campaign for that soon, so yeah. It's good though, as long as there's a lot of additional attacks, he's I'm good and stuff like that, of course, like I said. But like I said though, he could create, do all this stuff, but to get the actor skill though, you need to do like well, I think four super attacks and like in the and like not in one turn, but you need to do like four super attacks. And that's why I like his additional kick, kicks in effect here. Cause he's got mainly crit, but if you want to give him additionals. Again, he's like um the physical burly though, because you can um you know have a good chance of getting additionals. But at the same time, um it's kind of if because again you can get like 500 you can get like four or five additional super attacks but they're not gonna be additional attacks but one of them, two of them are one of them is gonna be like a super attack that's not it's good but at the same time it's like if he kind of it's weird it's a good balance of both again attack and crit and stuff like that is gonna be super good and stuff like that but um overall though he's a good, really good unit i started waiting for him to come back because banner is pretty solid though again you have coins and stuff like that benefiting for global but again the coin updates about like that coming up um for global probably like highly in main and stuff like that we're gonna see more stuff like this increase but yeah overall though for same day this year is actually really good and stuff like that of course um but way better than last year we had more events only like what four new things last year um and of course you know a couple little things but whatever gonna get in the video for sure i forgot i never spent this long on the video talking about this though but yeah again bro is good though again you can get a lot of crits with him a lot of potential additional super attacks but racking get up to four super attacks is not bad but it's like the vegeta blue effect kind of a little bit where you, you know you get like those so much additional attacks but you know which one's gonna be super attack or in potential and blah 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 typical stuff in the video here for sure very very solid do not summon on this crappy trashy legendary summon banner don't do it this is your lesson your value any coins any video here see you guys later though thank you so much for watching have a great day great luck i'll quit though make sure always stay safe watch friends god bless all of you though make sure to um again though go to some toilet paper and the bathroom so what you guys think about this um hang number one do you like it do you hate it i know a lot of people are gonna be mad no, a lot of people are not gonna be, um, you know, heated and stuff like that. Like me, freaking lit right now. It's freaking hot in here, hot. But um, yeah. Overall, though, this year, same day wasn't honestly that bad though. Pretty solid, pretty good. Um, but yeah, though, honestly, pretty good though for hitting number one. I love. I know a lot of people are gonna be mad, complain, blah blah blah, blah typical stuff. Whatever. Give my full thoughts, opinions, and stuff like that. Bro is good. But again, don't just skip the banner. Units overall pretty good. Just uh, I don't know. I don't. Bleh. So yeah, ending it here for sure. See ya. See you guys later. Okay, no. Peace out.